to Cambridge Institute for Sustainability and join the Director of Policy there, Elliot Whittington. Elliot, very good to see you. Is that a fair comparison? Is this like the Paris Climate Agreement, but for the natural world? Is it that big a deal? It is genuinely a massive breakthrough because this is the first time we've got the world coming together and saying that there needs to be to me to be progress over the next 30 years to say by the end of the next 30 years, by 2050, we need to have stopped the decline in biodiversity and, and substantively turned it around. So the, the whole world has, has signed up as part of these negotiations. So what is, the most significant, Ali, what is the most significant commitment that's being made? I think it's I think it's the fact that you have a basket of commitments. So you're, there's a commitment to to restore land, to protect land and, and sea, both in both cases. There's also resources being moved. There is, uh, you know, new financial resources from rich countries to poor countries. There is moving subsidies away from damaging activities towards good activities. And there's an accountability framework for business to say that businesses should disclose and be responsible for all of the things that they're doing that impact nature. So to get taken together, you not only have a great big goal, um, some near term goals in terms of, as you say, third, a third of land and sea being protected and some resources and, and tools underneath them that can help deliver on that. So it's the most specific agreement of its kind we've, so, ever, we've ever seen. So tell us more about that, about the delivery, because those are the concerns that people always have. These summits, these conferences are just talking shots and we don't actually see tangible benefits on the ground. What are the resources there to make sure these commitments are met? So. I think what, what's different about this one is it does have some particular numbers in. There is still a long way to go. Let's not say that this has solved everything because actually, you know, will countries deliver on their promises? But what we've got is specific promises about the amount of resources. So countries providing $20 billion uh, of US dollars by, by 2025 towards biodiversity and scaling that up to 30 billion by 2030. That effectively means doubling it and then increasing as much again over the next next three years and then the next five years. So that's a significant increase in resources. You've also got you know reducing environmentally harm, harmful subsidies by nearly 500 billion. So that's not new money, that's taking money that is being spent on damaging our, our environment, our systems and saying, can we spend this in a better way so that it isn't? So it's, it's, a, it's very much committing to be sensible. Um, and I think, that, you know, as I said, there's there's a commitment that countries should go away and make sure businesses measure and, and manage their impact on the environment. And that's going to be a really important thing. Now, there, there's a big headline commitments that are being signed up to. Obviously, we still need countries to then take them back into their domestic um, rulemaking systems, their, their legislation and actually make them happen. But that is different that those exist. And it's also different that so many businesses and so many financial institutions were present and we're talking about this. This has got the, the eyes of the world on it and the eyes of the economic actors on it. So businesses that are rightly concerned about the fact that if they don't start to manage these things, their future business um, success is in danger. So it, it matters for the bottom line because they rely on the natural systems to, to provide some of the things that we, we appreciate in the economy. I think the, the World Economic Forum showed that nearly 50% of the global economy was, was directly reliant on ecosystems and on, on nature. So we need we need to solve this problem and more and more people are kind of lining up behind it. So the fact that we have that level of, of buy-in from the public and from businesses should give this uh, agreement much more teeth than it would have had. Before. It is a big moment, Elliot. We really appreciate your thoughts. Thank you so much for talking to us. And as Elliot talked about those headline commitments, we go to